point of view, what, what, how this has affected you and what you would like to happen going forward? Mm, I don't know. I have to think about that. Yeah, I'm sure it's a very like stressful situation for you. We've been, we've been mm. going through some options and things, but um, for for trying to help Chance. Um, but from I, I understand you had your car egg the other day. That that must be, it must be really affecting you, even though you're not the one online. Right. It is. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. I know. I know. I'm gonna go buy me a fucking paintball gun, and the next person that shows up at my house, I'm shooting them. I'm over I, it. That's yeah. No, I, I can I can totally understand. I can totally understand that. And um, I'm, I'm gonna uh, make a couple big signs. I'm gonna take like a two by six, and I'm gonna cut the one end at an angle. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to beat that in the ground, and then I'm going to put another one over there, and then we're going to put a piece of uh, plywood up, and then we're going to put. Um, you don't try to see sign? Yeah, and that means you. <laughs> That's what we're going <laughs> to put on it. No trespassing signs, and that means you. I'm going to put two of them one on one side of, the, side of the driveway, and one on the other side of the driveway. Yeah. And then, like you, I said, the first first person that shows up is going to get shot. As long as, long as there's somebody that we don't know, there's somebody no. that. If, yeah. that's, if there's somebody we know, we're there fine. Like, like if <laughs> Sam shows up, she don't need to be getting paintballed today. She's cool. She's fine. <laughs> that's the last thing I need to have is just have you accidentally shoot one of my friends. <laughs> that would suck. That would suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get me and Sally when me and Sally's going to go out back and we're going to practice. We're going to get it probably on Saturday or Friday. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just let me know. I do know how to work, though. Just let me know. Yeah, well, we're both getting pistols and we're going to take some cardboard out back. Oh, the paintball pistols? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to fucking... No, I can... I'm going to totally understand that. Word of advice for you for the paintball guns whenever you shoot, don't go like this. You always want to hold it like this and have both sights down range. So you basically want to have it right. to where it's like, yeah. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm over it, really. I'm really over it. I've had enough up over my fucking head. <laughs> no, I, I, I totally get that. I mean, have, have you seen any of the any of the videos online do you do you, do you like are you, are you actively like because what what i'm looking for is sort of like from a fr, from like how it's affected you personally because obviously it, yeah it keeps me up it keeps me up last night it kept me up all fucking night all like all night long i went in and i had to go to work and then I had a doctor's appointment. I got 21 needles stuck in my head and my shoulders for my bow. For a, it's called a Botox. That's for my headaches. Yeah. I'm just. I don't know. I'm. I'm over it. Like I yeah. said. Yeah. Do you? So I, I don't know what else to do. I mean, I don't. I don't want to. Uh, you don't want to hurt nobody, but you don't know what else to do. Right. Plus, yeah. Um, you know, I, I yeah. No, I can totally understand that. I mean, I mean, do you do you watch any of the videos online, or do you? Is it no, literally I, I, just what you like, what you experience in person? Yeah. Well, well I'm not com- I'm not computer smart. I'm computer dumb. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, you look like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Talking to one of Chance's friends. Hi. <laughs> I was the I was the one that that was that was um yes, 
<laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm the one that um, we're, we're trying. Well, we're doing some uh, fact finding to see if we could, we could to see if we um, could um, could possibly help. Yeah, well, I told Chance I don't want you know I don't want him putting like they're they're I don't want him to like um to tell them to make something that they're not allowed around me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want that. I want him to just take care of him and his mom and I'll take care of me, you know? Oh, bless you. Oh, that's really sweet. Because it, it's, it must be so hard when it's your family, especially when it's your wife as well. Like, it's like, I can, like, as, as a mother, like, coming from that point of view, like, I can... You you can understand where um where where it could you know like right. like when it's your when it's your you know when it's your children and this, but especially when it's your wife because all you want to do is protect those people and then when you can't and then when you can't and you're sort of at a loss because you're up against such a huge wave then it must be really hard. Yeah, it is. I'm so if you if, go yeah, ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Sorry. I don't know what else to do. I'm, I'm yeah. to my breaking I'm to my you, breaking point. You just wanna you just wanna live your life again. Right. And we you know, until these people leave me fuck alone. I didn't mm. do nothing to them. Whatever is between pants and them is yeah. between pants and them. They don't. They do not need to bring me into it or Sally into it. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I understand that. Yeah. I mean. I. I mean. No. No offense, Chance. <laughs> um. But you know, Chance is an adult and able to you know um make his own decisions and things like that. You. You are essentially two separate people, and you are victims in this because. You're, you're not part of it. You've never gone online and made any, you know, videos or anything like that. You two are just, you two are just, you know, people who happen to get caught up in the mess. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't watch none of the videos. You know, them, them people were calling us all the time. So we got a number exchange. And they haven't found this one out yet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try and keep that. They will try and keep that secret, that one. <laughs> right. Well, I, I went out uh, two months, probably three months ago and bought Sally a new phone and got her a new number. And within three days, they had the number. Yeah. So now we're, now we're, now she's got a number that, you know, Chance don't know. I don't know. It's, it's programmed in in my phone but I just usually hit a name you know mm -hmm. I don't yeah. so basically you, do, you just want things to stop affect it, to stop affecting you what what goes on what goes on between chance and the internet is is like is right yeah that's, that's the way it should be yeah no absolutely I can I can totally understand that. I can totally understand that. You know, you you your children grow up and and you know become adults and uh, you you grow up and become adults and make their own decisions and and things like that. So and you you know you hope that they make good choices and things, but if they end up in a bad situation, you don't expect it to come back on you. Um, you don't expect it to come back on you because it it's you know it's it's not part of your life so to speak anymore. And I mean, like you say, you don't even go online, so that must be like so just the just the physical like the physical attacks. I mean, what what like has it, I know they egged your car, but have they done anything else? No, not to the vehicles. Uh, well, oh, they that. They, they tried to steal it <laughs> from oh the fucking driveway. Yeah, they tried to steal it, what, like three different times? Yeah, from the driveway. Yeah, they tried to steal it three different times by calling a towing company. 
Wow. Yes. And all, the third time, there was one of the trolls that showed up. Like, yeah. well, and I pulled up and what was it, like a black car on the suit or something? I don't know what it was. Like, it was a black car. Like, one of the trolls that pulled up in a you know, black car as the towing company was trying to take the car. And what was it made through it? Like a piece of wood or a brick or something at the car? Yeah, a piece of brick. No, a piece of, a piece of wood. Yeah, he had, you're, you, you, you're better explaining that than I am, I mean, I wasn't out there. Well, you know, I, I told the tow the truck, truck driver to get his hooks off the fucking car, or I was going to call the cops to come back around, and then people were backing out. And yeah. I ran up, probably just past the neighbor's front door and through that, and... I don't, I don't think it hit him. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I wish it did, but, you know, I put a lot into it, but it was a light piece of wood. So it only went so far. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, that's the kind of stuff they do. And then, whenever um, I ended up getting arrested, um, the guy that I initially saw in the bat at got in Ed's face a couple of times. I saw that video footage too, where he got in your face. I saw that oh. shit. So, so you you didn't get arrested or anything then, Ed? No, he didn't. I did. Oh, okay. I'm probably, I'm probably going to with this with this paintball gun. I'm probably going to be probably going to be arrested before it's all over with. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, I mean, it's gotten to such extremes, though. Like it, it, w it would probably test many people's patience. Oh, don't know what I can tell right now, just from what Edward was said. I can tell right now that it's tested you quite a bit. Yeah, um, I'm not. I'm not, like. I hope you don't take offense to this. I hope you don't take offense to this. But um, not not you, not you, Ed. But um, have you well, ever fine. have you <laughs> ever had any thoughts about moving moving out at all, Chance? Believe it or not, I actually have. Like matter of fact, I actually um was talking to my friend Clint over in Australia. He's been one of my best friends for like the last six years, and he flat out said. If I need a place to stay there, I've always got a place with him, no problem. So yeah. I definitely do have so I definitely do have a place to stay. Like I definitely do. Thank God where's she, she, where's she at? Over in the UK where I am over. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I remember I mean the UK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm from the north of the UK. <laughs> Home of brown ale. <laughs> 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 yeah, home of brown ale and um, well, not much else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you seem so sweet, Ed. Honestly, you do. Bless you. Like I I'm doing a, I'm doing a bit of a fact finding, and um, and I just need, I just needed your your opinion because sometimes it's hard. I know, I know, I've spoken to Chance, but it. It is it is hard sometimes because you're not online, because you're not because you're not involved in this, but you are actively part part of the like you, you know you are actively like you know suffering because of it, you know like you're involved in in all of this. People are talking about you. People are I mean you you're probably like inadvertently famous which is very strange to say well you know what what people talk about me they're leaving somebody else to hell alone yeah yeah but that is that actually is true that's very true yeah i don't care what people think because i know what's here you know what i mean yeah yeah but um, going back to my question, so chat. I know you said you had a friend in Australia and that, but you've never thought of sort of moving out down the road or something to 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 somewhere. I've, it, well, to I've actually, I've actually thought about that, but given the current circumstances, with because over here, one is very very tight, like, and I mean very tight. And with these trolls doing what they're doing, it's actually very hard for me to get a regular job because 
um, before my friend Brendan passed away just recently. Um, it was like earlier this year he had had a job, and because he is friends with me, the trolls ended up calling his job until he got fired, and they also ended up doing the same thing to my biological father. And the trolls have flat out said to me several times that if I were to get a job, that the same thing was going to happen to me. So unfortunately for me, getting a regular job is not the most ideal situation for me right now. But yeah. I have, I've, I've definitely been, you know, and even then, can say, like, how many times do I talk about wanting to get my own place? Like, I've talked about wanting to get my own place for just a long, long time, but like I said, due to the trolls and what they're doing and how just how far they're taking it, like, it makes it hard to do anything. Mm -hmm. Like, like, whenever we went to court, they literally followed us there, like, they literally filmed us when we didn't know it. Um, they, these guys are psychotic. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the, the like, how else would we, how would you play that? Bad, just like you just said. Yeah, like these people are, they're psycho. Yesterday, Sally said she must have had 30 people here by the time I got off work. Looking for, wow. these, tools, looking for these tools where we don't even know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> we told them, no, you know, get out of here. But then there's probably four or five after I got after I got home, so, you know, th that's crazy, too. That's why I said I'm over, the next person shows up at the door, it's going to get shot upon. I'm yeah. over it. No. I and, and if I go to jail, I go to jail. I'm going to be on that point. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, that's, yeah, no, I totally understand that. That's like... Um, I mean, has it has it impacted your your two relationships at any point? Somewhat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It must. Be, yeah. I mean, it would it would affect anyone's relationship. It causes stress is one of the known causes of relationship breakdown. Um, but I mean, you've all seemed to stick together rather well. Yeah. Over the time. Sure. Over the time. And two, I, I just had to go to the doctor. My uh, left hand's numb from the middle finger all the way down to the elbow. I got to go get a CAT scan, um, a MRI, a regular X-ray, and then this nerve nerve reduction test all by the uh, December 14th. So that's on top of it, too. God. Yeah, so I had like, uh, carpal, carpal tunnel done, and then uh, my one elbow has been done. Then they put shit up in my up in my neck because my my uh, spine was flattened. So now I'm going through some more of this shit. Yeah. I got, I got, a, I got a new knee this slow. That's been about a year ago since I got Yeah, there. I forgot about that. You had knee replacement surgery, didn't you? Yeah. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. And it's, like I said, it's still slow. It hurts. It hurts like a motherfucker sometimes. Excuse yeah. my friend. Oh. That's such a, that's such a shame. Well, yeah, no, and, that's, and that right there is like a lot of why I've been trying to get these people to just, you know, just screw off and just like leave. Just for them to just leave us all alone is like... That's a literally the ideal situation right there. Yeah, yeah. well, I don't believe that they're going to. Man. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know eventually. I, I want them to come over here. I want them to come come to the house. Because I'm not... I'm not empty. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be over, yeah. I'm going to empty the ball gun on them, and then I'm going to go out there. <laughs> but I'm not going to go to jail. I'm going to pull them in the yard. <laughs> there you go. I'm just over it. And like I said, and like she said, I don't blame you, and she definitely doesn't blame you. Yeah. Man, no. you, you know how I feel about this shit. I want to fucking end this as badly as you do. Right. 
Like, how many times have I talked about this stuff being the end? More times than I can. I probably need a rich right now. Yeah. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm gonna go back down with Shelly. Shelly just woke up, so I'm gonna go down and talk to her. Smoke another cigarette, maybe drink a pot. Yeah, no, that's brilliant. I mean, like, like I said, when I when I do a fact finding, I am. Um, I just it, it's. Um, I mean, with any, with anything, you you're going to. You always have to ask people how it's affected them, how they, you know, what what they want out of a situation, and um, and how it's like how it's affected the, you know, bits of their life. But that was it was brilliant. That was lovely you talking to me. I thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And um, and hopefully the hopefully there'll be some positive outcomes out of this for you. All right, well, you have a good night. Have a good How night. Old How old are you? I'm 32. <laughs> 32? That's yeah. The only one you know. Wow. <laughs> you don't sound like you're 32. Oh, well, thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> <laughs> have a good night. I have a good night. That's great. Yeah, got it. Oh. oh, bless him. He's so sweet. Yeah, I like. And that's the thing, like, he's been so good to, like, he's done so much for me and mom, like, in yeah. general, like, he has gone out of his way yeah. so many times, and it's like, then doing this to him and my family, it, it needs to stop, because what these people are doing, it's not cool, it's not yeah. okay, and clearly you can see, like, what they're doing, and how it's affected, and just like you said, like the way that it's affected him is basically how it's affected mom as well. Yeah. Like they're all in that same, they're basically in the exact same boat together with this shit. Yeah. Like the fact that, like, and like he said, in the way that it's affected mom is like she barely sleeps, she's always stressed, you know. She essentially wants this stuff to stop. Yeah. Like, and that. Because, like, they've posted videos about her. They've blown up her phone the same way they've blown up Ed's phone. Yeah. Which they, have, which they haven't done that recently because, they get, because Ed and Mom got new numbers. Yeah. So they haven't been able to, like, really do anything. But still, it's just like, these people are just, they're sick. And like I said, like, the way that he put it is basically how both him and mom are. Like, they're both in that exact same, you know, boat with this. Like, they both agree that all this stuff, it, it needs to stop. Like, what these people are doing is disgusting. It's wrong. And it's just like, what do you gain out of doing this shit to someone? That's my question. Like, what do you gain from illegally entrapping someone and then ruining their life? Yeah. 